Some of the biggest leaks in video game history is taking place right now as we speak. This all started about three days ago with a massive leak of a ton of different games from the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advanced with source code and prototypes was leaked to the public. After that, today, more leaks started happening, and this was for the N64, so a bunch of N64 games, prototypes, and source code is also being leaked for some of the biggest games out there, such as Ocarina of Time, Jura's Mask, Super Mario 64, and on the Super Nintendo, we're talking about like Super Mario World, we're talking about Star Fox, we're talking about Mario Kart, there's so many games to cover, and on top of that as well, a early prototype version for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl was also recently released and debunked, so it doesn't stop. Now what I thought I would do today is just make a quick little update video before I head to bed, kind of going over some of the kind of discoveries and cool interesting facts that people have been able to find so far, diving into all of these games and into all of these leaks. Now I'm sure there's going to be more stuff being released as we go on, so if you guys are interested in an update video, feel free to let me know. But without further ado, let's get right into it. And obviously our first main topic, you might have seen it in the thumbnail, L is real. That is right. Luigi is officially been found in Super Mario 64. So it's been known for a long time that Luigi was planned for Super Mario 64, but he was never implemented into the game. But there was this kind of a tease on the core chart where there was a sign that said L is real. Well, now he has officially been discovered. There has been both audio files and the entire model of Luigi has been found in the leaked files that was just released today. And people are already working towards implementing him into the game so he's actually functional. But we have the full model. As you can see, he looks quite different. Obviously, he's green instead of red. But he's also taller, slightly skinnier. His mustache is different. Very interesting. And it's some really cool stuff happening in Super Mario 64. There's also a ton of new beta rooms that is being discovered as well and some overall testing areas. Uh, and there's going to be a ton more, I'm sure, that's going to be uh, released very, very soon. And on top of that as well, we're also getting really cool screenshot of beta worlds uh, that we never have seen before as well. I'm going to put some up on the screen right now of some really cool beta rooms overall. And there's some overall amazing stuff being found in SM64. Also, some in general raw files such as raw trailers from back in like, you know, Space World and those old events back in the 90s are being found. Um art covers for the games itself the boxes the manuals those are also being uh, kind of uh, ripped now without the logo or the stamps or anything like that uh, also if you move on to zelda specifically ocarina of time has had some really cool discoveries ocarina of time went through a crazy development back when it was being first developed because it was supposed to be released for the Nintendo 64 disk drive. And now we're finding a lot of really cool stuff. So a lot of people have been trying to find both beta stuff for uh, OT and as well as Ura Zelda, which was Zelda 2 basically, or I should say Ocarina of Time 2. And we have already started to find these kind of cool beta rooms where the beta rooms and these kind of uh, models it is identical to the ones that can be found in some old trailers of the game. I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison right now on the screen. And this is some really exciting stuff and I can't wait to see more. Otherwise, just in general early area pictures that are not completed as well, like the Deca tree and, and in general some other cool areas are definitely being found. Uh, also, if you move on to Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart 64, there's been a lot of really early prototypes found for this game where it showcases like an engine on the N64, but but it's more in the style of Super Mario Kart and then kind of in between some of unused objects, characters and in general uh, HUD and stuff like that. So some really cool stuff on that front as well. If you dive over to the Super Nintendo aspect of things, there's some really cool things as well. So if you go into things such as the development for Zelda, there has been some really cool sprites that was unused for Link, which is amazing. If you also go into Super Mario World is where the coolest, I would say, leaks are happening in Super Mario World 1 and 2. For the first game, we have a beta model of Yoshi and this looks absolutely crazy. It looks so different from the final uh, version of it. Um, it. Just imagine if this is how Yoshi would have ended up looking like. Uh, there's also a beta overworld of the game. There's a bunch of unused overall sprites in the game as well that was never released. If you dive over to Super Mario World 2, 
you have some unused kind of mini games that wasn't used. You have a different title screen. You have different overworlds. You have different stages. You have a ton of unused enemies and yes, characters and stuff like that. Just some really crazy stuff that we never got to see in the final game that is already being brought up. Obviously also some cool development tools for Star Fox and Star Fox 2 on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and another really cool thing as well that I'm really interested in because I love Pokemon Generation 4 is on Pokemon Generation 4 beta content as well. We're getting a ton of sprites, early sprites for Pokemon that was unused and also some really amazing placeholders or early drafts of Pokemon that look absolutely hilarious. Um, and it's really awesome to look around and see that. There's also some early kind of music uh, that we have found. And one of my favorite things is unused music. There's this really amazing track that went completely unused in the game uh, that I would like to play right now. Now this unused song was supposed to be for the Galactic Admin Encounter theme and I actually love this jam. Take a listen right now, it's absolutely amazing. But overall, just some really amazing, cool stuff is being discovered, and I can't wait to see what else actually gets brought up and that we end up discovering as time goes on. If you guys are interested in me keeping you guys updated, I will definitely not mind doing a follow-up video to this video going over some other things that's gonna be discovered in the future. Now, I'm not gonna do any direct links to anything, because Nintendo is pretty hasty on sending out DMCA takedowns or in general taking down videos that cover these sort of stuff. So I'm not gonna link to anything specifically myself, but if you do a little bit of Google search, I'm sure you're gonna find uh, most of the information you might be looking for yourself, but I'm not gonna link to anything directly myself. But either way, that is gonna be it for today's short little update video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I love little tons. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you all in the next one. Later everybody, bye-bye.